Hi guys and welcome to another Elementor e-commerce video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well in our last video we created a shop page and some product pages here quickly. Today we're going to build a full width hero slider for our home page. This is just a temporary home page that we put up with some products just to have something on there. What we're going to do in the next few videos is start customizing our home page with a hero slider, some sales modules and banners, etc. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is add a new page. I'm going to go up to the plus, go down to page. And I'm going to give it the title of tech home. I'm going to edit with Elementor because of that I want to go over to my page attributes and switch it from default template to Elementor full width so we can use the full width of our screen here. Once I've done that I'll hit the ed edit with Elementor button. And here's our Elementor panel on our new page here. So at the top, on the left hand side here, you've got regular Elementor modules, the free ones. Underneath those, we've got the Pro modules. They've got some fantastic modules in the Pro version, but I'm going to try and do this whole site with the free version. And underneath, we've got some general ones we can use. And the one I want today is Image Carousel. So I'm going to left click on it, drag it over, and there's our carousel module. It's already got it highlighted up here. If not, you can click on the little blue tab here for the module, the dark tab for the row, and the big blue tab at the top for the section. So I want to add some images. So I've created some images. They're 1920 by about 700 pixels, just over tall. I'm going to go ahead and drag them up to my media library. I'm going to select them and simply drag them up release with my left mouse once they've uploaded I'm going to create a new gallery and there we are I know everybody doesn't have Photoshop I created mine in Photoshop uh, I believe there's a great free program called GIMP that you can do pretty much the same thing with that everybody tells me I'll put the link to that graphics editor down below this video so once they're there, you can left click and reorder them any way you want. I've only got three and I'm going to insert them into the gallery. Now at the moment, it's showing them as a thumbnail size. I want to show them either as full or as large. So down at the bottom, you've got full. Number of slides, I only want one at a time slides to show one there we go now I want to make this full screen so it stretches to the either side there so let's go into our section tab the blue one at the top here click on the middle dots right there and you'll see we're now editing the section content width I want to make that full there we go so we now got a bit of a slider here I want to make sure there's no gap either side so I want this to be fully true truly full width so let's go into the columns and make sure there's no padding anywhere and we'll go to layout go to advanced put a zero in for the padding all round there we go and that's made that disappear right there we also want to do the same for the section here because so I don't want any padding up the top I want this to be buffered right up against the menu here so let's go back into our section to the advanced tab and do the same thing I'll put zero top if you've got the chain highlighted there it'll do all four at once for you if you just want to do one side at a time just unlink that there we go so that's more like it that's buffered up against the top there it's sliding now let's go and look at the settings for the slider itself or the carousel Images full, slides to show one, great. Image stretch, if it doesn't reach the whole of the width there, you can do image stretch. 
navigation arrows and dots well there's your arrows and here's your dots you can choose to have one the other or none at all that works for me having it all like that so I'm happy with that and you can put a link in if you want to I'm gonna go ahead and link this to our shop page so I'm gonna say custom URL I'm simply gonna right click copy the link from my shop page and paste it in there fantastic I don't need a caption because I've got the caption actually on my photographs at the moment and that would be a caption underneath anyway and here you can choose where to have it have it as a title a caption or a description if we look at the additional options I do want it to autoplay so when they come to the site it'll start revolving I do want it to pause on hover that will give people to go down and click the button and read whatever is on there give them the opportunity pause on interaction exactly the same thing autoplay speed at the moment it's set to 5000 milliseconds or 5 seconds you can change that here for me that's okay I might slow it down a bit perhaps 7 seconds infinite loop yes it means it's going to go round and round and round if you put it to no it's going to stop when it gets to the last slide at the moment we've got it on slide so it slides we can change that effect I'm going to change it to fade so this way they'll just fade in one to another and I'm going to slow down the fade speed to about 800 milliseconds it's entirely up to you it just fades a little more gracefully like that I find direction that's pretty irrelevant because it's just fading in on top of each other if it was sliding you could change that to right let's go over to the style tab and you could position the arrows inside where they are at the moment if you had a smaller carousel or slider you could position them on the outside that's fine for me you can make them bigger or smaller simply by doing that color for me at the moment is fine that works on all of my slides now the dots at the moment they're outside I think I might put those inside they might encroach on my button there no I think that's going to be fine size I think I would bring them up slightly in size and I'm going to change the color to red there we go and as you can see they're now red down the bottom there in the image you can change the border radius and stars if you want to give it a border at the moment I've got no border um, if we were to put one on I'll put a solid border on there I'll say five pixels you'll see it. I'm going to take this away you can see it appear there now the red border at the thing there so I really don't want a border so let's change that back to zero and we're pretty much done with our slider we've done the advanced tab where you have your margin which will push it down or up and the padding which gives it the gap all around Z index pulls it forward or backwards you've got layers to your site if something was going over the top of it and you wanted to have this in front you'd increase the number of the Z index CSS ID and CSS classes we don't need that at the moment and ID we'll be covering those later on you can give it a, a section and an ID and scroll to it CSS classes you can give it a sort of name each one its name then you can target it with some custom CSS you've got motion effects we don't really need to use anything on this at the moment because it's got its own motion and the rest of these are fairly self-explanatory custom CSS this is where you put any custom CSS but we really don't need any of that today for our slider I think we're actually done with this so let's hit the update button and hit the little eyeball to preview our changes and as you can see it opens in another tab and here's our full width hero slider and it's sliding every seven seconds and it's taking just under a second to fade to the next one as you can see make sure our arrows are going to work fantastic and when I click on it it doesn't matter where I click on it but just for 
just because it's there the graphic button I'll click on the button and there we are it takes us to our shop page so there we go that's how to make a full width carousel slider using Elementor really easy so I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful if you have please ring the bell give it a thumbs up comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel once again this has been Jamie with System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day.